Is This a Great State or What? is sponsored by Weoki. We got you, Oklahoma. Well, if you drive up Northwest Highway toward Okarchia, you'll start to see some farms still producing wheat, hay, and cattle. But Galen Culver stopped at one that does things a little bit differently. You're welcome. Did you, what was the best thing you got to do here today? A couple of days ahead of another in a long line of parties, Robin Chester Hawker couldn't resist a little entertaining in the middle of his big pumpkin patch. Here you go. Now watch it closely. It's just a magic pumpkin center because that's all I have here are magic pumpkins. He did try to grow them once, but that kind of farming never worked for him. I, I just could never grow enough pumpkins. This year, he just trucked in about 30,000 to send home with families he hoped won't forget him the next right harvest place. time. Don't take your eyes. Okay, go on. Go on. What? 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 Oh, man. I'm better at partying, basically, than I am growing pumpkins. And so. 20 years ago, this was a long abandoned farm, and Chester was a clown with an idea. He bought the place and started agritourism before it even had a name. That's exactly right. That's exactly, and I feel old sometimes. I sure do. The original party barn is the Chesterfield wedding venue now. All the wood that's in here now is repurposed wood that we took off of pallets. The new barn is a lot bigger. He put in a candy shop, a concession stand, a trail around the lake, a hay bale maze, a menagerie of very tame livestock. His name is Rupert. This is Peanut, and that's Buster. 500,000 visitors later, and he's still working on entertaining. His pumpkin cannon fires regular salutes. Three, two, one, blast off. He buys some of the state's biggest pumpkins every year, and this year, the smallest pumpkin was a nice bonus. A miniature rescue horse gave birth to this tiny pumpkin See, in early soft. October, 15 inches high at birth, one inch short of a world record. Yeah. You never saw a baby horse before? Well, here it is. His wife Gloria and his own kids might have wondered about moving way out here two decades before, but Chester's unique way of growing things proved sound. So I like to do things a little opposite sometimes, you know. The farm is still here, full of life and laughter too. You know, we're really in the memory making business. Near Piedmont, Galen Culver, News 4. Is this a great state or what? Uh, Hawker is in his 43rd year as Chester the Clown, which is where he got his start in business. The party barn and pumpkin patch is open Thursday through Saturday, 10 to 6, and on Sunday from 1 to 6.